Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. In this verse, God gives the individual here his assurance of life everlasting. What do we have to do for that? We have to listen to what God is saying to us through his word. We have to believe, when we pray, we have to believe our prayers will be dealt with by God. And we have to trust. We have to take our prayers to him and leave them at his feet. Hello folks, my favourite verse from the Bible, well there's a bit of a story behind it. So uh, 15 plus years ago my normal routine on a Sunday would be to take Chris down to Sunday school uh, and on the way home call him with my father who was, well he wasn't well, he had emphysema. So this particular Sunday when I called in he had the suit on, he was at the table and uh, the usual story, power codle in one hand and the inhaler in the other. So with a bit of chat and uh, then he said he wanted to leave early because he wanted to get to Tremor, recover from the drive, make his way into church, get his breath back before the service started. So we made our way out, uh, I reversed out of the yard first and onto the road and blocked the road so it was safe for him to come out. So about a minute later he appeared coughing and spluttering and gasping for breath at the same time. He turned the car up the hill and headed towards Dermore. Now at that moment I had a moment of despair. My head went down and uh, I remember shouting, what on earth is going to become of that man? So the next thing coming through my head was, let not your heart be troubled. I thought about it later. God was correcting me. He was comforting me. My father was saved a couple of years beforehand. His health was poor and would get worse, but ultimately all was well. John 14 verse 1, and these are Jesus' words. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. These are the days of coronavirus, uncertain days. So if you want to be certain, call out to God and let not your heart be troubled. Hi, the song I've chosen is In Christ Alone because it reminds me that all I need is Jesus, especially in hard times like these and I've only been learning the guitar for about a, since the start of this year and I've only really been learning this song for about a week so let's hope the song's good.